Ms. Donna Jones Baker will present the commencement speaker. It's an absolute honor to present the commencement speaker. Youssef Ahmad is Divisional Senior Vice President and Chief Network Transformation Officer for Mercy Health. He is responsible for transforming the delivery and implementation of primary and specialty care for the organization's central division, including physician offices, hospitals, home health, senior health, and housing services. Ahmad also leads the division in preparation for health care reform initiatives, including the development of the division as an accountable care organization, the advancement of the patient-centered medical homes project, and Medicare shared savings program. He won the 2013 Tomorrow's Leader Award from the Catholic Health Association honoring young leaders who will guide the Catholic Health Ministry in the future. Prior to his current role, Ahmad served as Divisional Senior Vice President and President of Mercy Health Physicians. Prior to Mercy Health, Ahmad served as Vice President and Chief Information Officer for the Group Health Associates in the Tri-State, where he implemented the region's first electronic medical record. Ahmad is an active member of the College of Healthcare Information Management Executives and a fellow in the American College of Healthcare Executives. He's an adjunct professor in the Graduate Program of Health Services Administration at Xavier. He is chair of Tri-State Healthcare Supplier Diversity Consortium and past chair and a former board member of HealthBridge, Inc., a health information exchange. Ahmad holds a doctorate in public health from the University of Kentucky, along with a master's in health administration and an MBA from Xavier. He earned a bachelor's degree in computer information systems from Eastern Kentucky University. Please welcome Dr. Youssef Ahmad. Good afternoon. Thank you, Donna, for that kind and very generous introduction. President Father Graham, Board of Trustees, Administration of Xavier, thank you for allowing me this honor of being a part of your special event today. To the graduating class, congratulations. And of course, congratulations to all the parents family and friends and faculty. This is your day also. And since it is Mother's Day weekend, let's show some special love to all the moms out there. Thank you for that. For me, this is homecoming in more ways than one. I sat in your chairs a few years back. I have the privilege of serving on Father Graham's Advisory Council. I also taught in the Graduate School of Health Services Administration for nine consecutive years. And this is an extra special moment for me because the last class I taught last summer is graduating tonight today. So let me hear a shout out from them. Awesome. Now, in the spirit of complete transparency, I do not remember who spoke at my graduate school commencement ceremony or what he said, other than he was long, boring, and I did not have a smartphone at that time. <laughs> so I will be brief, and your challenge is going to be how much of my speech you can remember few years from now or perhaps a few hours from now. I am wary of making a commencement speech 
because I don't think of myself as old enough or accomplished enough to have any real wisdom to impart on such an august occasion. So I thought I would share with you some of the journey of my life, which includes my experience at Xavier, hoping you can take away whatever resonates with you. I was born and raised in Abu Dhabi, the capital city of the United Arab Emirates, and came to the United States as a young teenager for college. English is not my first language. Growing up, I was used to squash and cricket as sports and chin-ups and push-ups as measures of physical strength. Well, when I came to America, squash was a vegetable only, cricket was an insect only, and how much you benched was the question of masculinity amongst men. I found myself a stranger in a strange land. Unless you knew me, I would not be the horse you would bet on to make it in America. Much to my parents' chagrin, I forewent the pursuit of reputable professions of being a physician, a mechanical engineer, or an attorney. I decided to get trained as a software engineer with a degree in computer information systems. I could not help it. I found binary numbers sexy. <laughs> I was the young whippersnapper software engineer living the American dream after college. By that time, the U.S. government had given me a huge honor by calling me an alien with exceptional ability. <laughs> it is an immigration st status that fast-tracks your path to U.S. citizenship. After all, I was saving the country from the death of Y2K. I was thinking, great, now I'm like the movie character E.T., one of my favorites, an alien with exceptional ability. Life could not be any better. My older brother at the time was finishing medical school in London, England. We would compare our days. I would tell him about the cool software applications and databases I was developing. He would tell me how he was saving lives. My work would pale in front of his every day. So he asked me to look into healthcare. He encouraged me to pursue healthcare and actually wanted me to become a physician. At 19, I thought I was too old to go to medical school, not knowing that I would spend the next 10 years earning two masters and a doctorate. In hindsight, I think I felt my work paled in front of his because I wasn't being of service to others enough. That is when I decided to explore graduate programs in the country with a concentration in healthcare administration. I had just entered my 20s when I decided to go to Xavier's Graduate School of Health Service Administration, one of the top rated programs in the country consistently. That is when I came within what I call the institution's centripetal force. It is one of the best things I did. I learned to listen and also to follow advice of people who really cared about me. Listening has been easy for me. Finding out who really cares about me has been difficult. In fact, that is something I still struggle with. But there are people in this world who I have met, who I did not know, who genuinely care about me and have been honest and uninhibited in their feedback purely for the sake of my development. You see, software engineers rarely become healthcare executives. But it was my graduate program at Xavier that made me believe that I could become one. One person whom I owe a lot of gratitude for educating me and believing in me is my Xavier professor, Dr. Ida Schick, who is in the audience as my guest of honor. She's sitting up there, right above section 109. Dr. Schick was the chair of the graduate program, my professor, my preceptor, my advisor. 
She was my most honest critic, but also my biggest supporter. Dr. Sheikh, I always wanted to thank you publicly, but never got the opportunity to do so. So I thought I would honor you by making you part of my commencement speech. I hope you do not mind. <laughs> Dr. Sheikh, thank you for trusting me and believing in that young, young man named Yusuf when most people did not. You have been a guiding light in my life. You have gone, gone from being my professor, my advisor, my colleague, to being my friend. I hope I have made you proud. I know I have made you proud, and I'm not done yet. Education is a great equalizer. It has been a force that erases arbitrary divisions of race and class and culture and unlocks every person's potential. It literally changes lives, and it has changed mine. Education also makes you influential in your career. In my experience, I have gone farther in my career through influence rather than authority. Xavier's graduate school is really where I learned to reflect. By learning to reflect, it invites us to pause and consider the world around us and our place within it. Solidarity and kinship are two key Xavier values I instantly fell in love with. Till this day, these values teach me, allow me to learn from my companions. Some of you have earned a graduate degree to advance your field, to change careers, to earn a raise or a promotion, to be simply competitive in the workplace, or heaven forbid, you are still undecided. Unlike other schools, a Xavier graduate is expected to also compete as an exceptional human being. This expectation, I believe, is a distinction of Xavier. How much more likely are you to touch other people's lives as a Xavier graduate? Your intelligence, your capacity for hard work, the graduate education you have earned and received gives you a unique position in society, a unique status that comes with unique responsibilities. So here's my plea to all of us, not just the graduates in the room. Have the power to imagine and be bold in your imagination. We do not need magic or a miracle to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. Choose your status and influence to raise your vo voice on behalf of those who have no voice. If you choose to identify with the powerful, that's okay. But please also identify with the powerless. Have the ability to imagine yourself into the lives of those who do not have your advantages. Help others, especially the disadvantaged. Give your time and talent in service to others. The need to serve others has never been greater in our nation. Do something that satisfies you every day. Have the courage to follow your heart, follow your passion, your dreams. You can be who you want to be. Just be great at it. And if you can remember nothing from this speech, please remember this. Never be a victim of circumstance. These six words, please remember, never be a victim of circumstance. Sometimes I get asked, how much has luck played a role in my success? To which I respond by stating a saying I learned. I'm not sure who said it, but it applies to me, and it goes something like this. Luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. And for me, the harder I work, the luckier I get. Xavier's Graduate School prepared me well for a tough world, a lifelong debt which I will never forget, nor will I be able to repay. My only version of reciprocity is to make you all proud through my work. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and to the graduates of the Class of 2013, congratulations and Godspeed.
in recognition of his professional accomplishments and dedicating, dedication to Jesuit ideals, Dr. Yusuf Ahmad is honored today by Xavier University with this presidential citation.